This particular matter that I'm going to talk about tonight is an issue that most of the Ummah think only is a specialty of Ramadan. Yet it's such an important issue of Ibadah that it will tell you if you love Allah and if Allah loves you. It is the matter of Qiyam and Tahajjud, also in Ramadan called Taraweeh. It is the school of the righteous people. Night prayer in Qiyam is the, in Tahajjud is the tranquility of the believers. Night prayer in Qiyam is the solution to your problems when you have a problem. Many times you see those who claim to love Allah and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Islam. They'll put it on their website. They'll click a like on Facebook. They'll probably have a bumper sticker. But this will determine if they truly love Allah because Allah in the Quran says is one who is obedient to Allah, prostrating himself during the night time, fearing the hereafter and hoping for the mercy of his Lord. Is he like those who don't do that? Disbelievers or whoever doesn't do that? Is he who knows like he who doesn't know? Allah is saying basically, don't you ever compare one who makes tahajjud in Qiyam with one who doesn't. Night prayer in Qiyam is the best prayer after the five prayers ever. Night prayer in Qiyam is the honor of the believer, Sharaf al mu'min. Night prayer in Qiyam is brightness on the judgment day. Night prayer and Qiyam is the characteristic of a believer like Allah says in Surah Al-Furqan and those who spent the night hours worshiping their Lord, bowing and prostrating to Allah and standing. Night prayer is the golden moments of the night time for those who long to be close to Allah to spend that time in privacy with Allah the Almighty. In Musnad Ahmad and Abu Dawood, Abu Huraira radiallahu an said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, رَحِمَ اللَّهُ رَجُلًا قَامَ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَصَلَّى ثُمَّ أَيْقَذَ أَهْلَهُ أَمْرَأَتَهُ فَصَلَّتْ فَإِنْ أَبَتْ نَضَحَ الْمَاءَ فِي وَجِهَا May Allah be pleased with a man who gets up at night and prays and then wakes up his wife. But if she refuses to wake up, he sprinkles water in her face. And look at the other one. And may Allah bless a woman who gets up at night and prays and then wakes up her husband. And if he refuses, she sprinkles water in his face. Amazing hadith. Such a unique hadith that encourages a family to worship Allah together and encourage each other. A family, a romantic family. She's not waking him up by forcing him, nor is he. Their, cons their consensus is that we both want to wake up. I dare a husband and a wife who do this consistently and faithfully for the sake of Allah and not have the happiest marriage ever. Prove me wrong and I'm going to say wallahi to it. If you are having marital problems, night prayer is your solution. Get up you and your wife. What effect will it have on children in the future? Many times children Go astray, even if you raise them well. However, one of the most memorable things a child takes with him, even years later, and I can tell you this from my experience in da'wah, he'll say, oh, wallah, you're right. I used to always see my mother and dad get up at the end of the night and pray. It's something that sticks to their mind that usually gets them back on the right track if they go astray. The Prophet Sallallahu said, إِذَا أَيْقَذَ الرَّجُلُ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَصَلَّيَا أَوْ صَلَّى رَقْعَتَيْنِ جَمِيعًا كُتِبَ فِي الذَّاكِرِينَ وَالذَّاكِرَةِ If a man gets up at night and prays, even just two rak'ahs, just two rak'ahs, and this is my point today, just two rak'ahs at night, they're considered among the dhakirin. Who are the dhakirin? Flip the pages of the Qur'an to Surah Al-Ahzab and you're going to see وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ عَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا In those men who remember Allah, and the females who remember Allah, Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and great reward, high ranks in paradise. How beautiful is it to spend the night with Allah? There are those who love to spend the nights flipping through the channels on their TVs. There are others who love to spend their nights browsing through the internet. Yeah, hours and hours go by while they're doing it. Some with girls and others with alcohol. And some with vain matters that are probably not haram or halal. Then there are those few of the few of the very few who truly love Allah and choose to spend the nights with Allah the Almighty. And less assured, let me tell you this. The biggest indicator and hint to see if Allah loves you and if He's pleased with you See if you consistently pray the night prayer.
If you consistently wake up for the night prayers, know you are in good status with Allah. Let me repeat. Let me repeat because this is important. The biggest indicator of how pleased Allah is with you is if you pray consistently the night prayers. It is the only, it, it's only the special people who are allowed by Allah to spend those precious moments during the dark nights with him. A man told Ibrahim ibn al-Adham, he said, I cannot get up at night to pray. Why? I want to do Qiyam. He said, you commit the sins during the day, you will never be able to get up at night and pray. Standing before Allah during nighttime is an honor sinners are unworthy of. Sufyan al-Thawri said, for five months I couldn't get up for night Qiyam because of a sin I committed. And if you look at the life of Sufyan al-Thawri, what could Sufyan al-Thawri have possibly done? A man who is amazing in his character, in his ibadah, in his knowledge. A man came to Al-Hasan al-Basri and he said, I sleep well, I rest well, I have no illness, I prepare the water by my mattress so I can get up for prayer at Qiyam, but I never get up for prayer at Qiyam. So Al-Hasan al-Basri said, your sins shackled you. Your sins during the day restrained you during the night time. The rule is the sins of the day restrain a Muslim from the honor of praying during the night time. Abu Ja'far said, I went to visit Ahmed ibn Yahya. So he said, I went and I seen Ahmed crying. Abu Ja'far told Ahmed, why are you crying? Ahmed said, I missed night prayer. He said, that's okay. Allah wanted you to rest. He said, Abu Ja'far said, the more I tell him, come for him, the more he cries. He said, no, it's because of a sin I committed. Qiyam is responding to the call of Allah. How can you not respond to the call of Allah when Allah calls you? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِذَا كَانَ شَطْرُ اللَّيْلِ نَزَلَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا The Lord descends every night to the lowest point of heaven when the one-third end of night remains. فَيَقُولُ هَلْ مِنْ دَاعٍ فَأَسْتَجِيبَ لَهُ is there anyone who calls upon me? Allah is asking you. Anyone who calls upon me so I can answer? Allah is calling as if he needs you and you're the one who needs Allah. هَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ Is there anyone who will ask me that I may give him? People snore away as Allah is asking them if they need anything. هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرَ لَهُ حَتَّى يَطْلُعَ الْفَجَرِ Who will seek my forgiveness so that I may forgive him? Qiyam must be an essential part of your life, my brothers and sisters. It must be essential. When Allah was preparing the Prophet ﷺ for the ultimate task ever, the guidance of humanity, what did he prep him with? He prepped him with the task of making tahajjud fard upon him. This was fard in the early stages on the Prophet ﷺ. In order to be successful in any job, in any task, in any situation, you need to succeed during the night with your spiritual communication with Allah. That's why Allah ordered him to do that. You give parts of your life to yourself, to your family, to your work. We all give parts of our life to school, to social events. We give parts of our life to leisure events. We give parts of our life to rest and comfort. Doesn't Allah the Almighty deserve to be given a part of our life? and he should be given precedent and priority over everything. Make the decision now. I say make the decision now, make the oath now, make the pledge now. I'm gonna, from now on, I'm gonna pray Qiyam to Allah the Almighty. Do it now.